Hey everyone, and welcome to Chef AJ Live. I'm your host, Chef AJ, and this is where I introduce you to amazing people like you who are doing great things in the world that I think you should know about. Well, recently I was interviewed and somebody asked me what my three favorite kitchen tools or appliances were, and it was really easy to answer. Number one, I said, was the one that I've had the longest, which is, of course, the Instant Pot electric pressure cooker. Number two, the one I had the second longest, the Breville air fryer. I could not live without either of them. And number three, it may surprise you, but I love this machine. It is called the Nutri Milk. Why do I love it? Because it doesn't just make plant milk, which it does exquisitely without any soaking, because you're going to say, well, that machine's cheaper. Yeah, it's cheaper because you got to spend all your time soaking and then you throw away the best part, which is the pulp and the fiber, at least the most nutrition nutritious part. But it turns out now that I've had it for a year, using it as my food processor, I hate to say this, but it's better than my cuisine art. It's more powerful, it's faster, and I love it. So back by popular demand today is the CEO of the Nutri Milk, Carolyn Chen. She's going to be answering all your questions about the machine, as well as demonstrating a few recipes, including veggie broth, which is so easy to make. Stop buying the boxes, guys. It's not good for the environment. It doesn't taste that good. And it's so easy to make with the Nutri milk and a creamy potato leek soup and offering a generous discount code, which you'll find below in the show notes. By show notes, I mean, you got to look on YouTube. You don't see show notes on Facebook. Please welcome back to the show, Carolyn Chen. Thanks for inventing such a cool machine. And thank you, Chef AJ, for having us back. Yeah, I mean, I really like it. I mean, I, mo- I, I can't speak for everybody that bought one, but most of the people I've talked to, almost all of them love it and are using it. And I think it's just such a brilliant idea. Yeah, I mean, we've had like some of the best, um, you know, uh, feedback coming from a lot of your uh, viewers and, and, um, you know, and uh, people just love like the the weekly recipes that we're sending out. Um, And we actually just recently uh, revamped our website. Um, so like, I think it went live maybe about a week ago. Um, so lots and lots and lots of information. <laughs> nice. Nice. How long have you guys been, how long has Nutri Milk been around? I only heard about it, you know, like a little bit over a year ago when I saw John Kohler's video, which is what sold me because he was very impartial and he was comparing your machine to other machines. And I'm like, that one seems like it's better. Yeah. John's still been a, a great fan and such. Um, we, we, we technically came out in 2017, end of 2017, and then, um, you know, so 2018, 19, 20, now we're in 2021. Um, last year during the pandemic, um, you know, I mean, when everybody was like fully locked down, um, our machine sales, believe it or not, soared through the roof because everybody decided that they were going to start baking at home, or they were going to make their own everything because it was obviously a little difficult to get to the grocery shop, um, the grocery store too, too many times. So, so yeah, it's, it's been great, um, but it allowed us to really like focus on, um, you know, putting together the, the site so that, um, you know, it answered everybody's questions, like all the FAQs and, you know, we put up a bunch of um, new content and such. So, yeah. You know, I don't get out much, honestly, even before the pandemic, I don't really enjoy going out and eating at restaurants, but where could we go and see these? I'm just curious if they are in places that I might know. Um, I believe, let's see here. I mean, if you're talking here in California, we definitely um, are are at some of the, because you're out in in, in, in India, but we've got some um, uh, coffee shops that are using uh, the machine, uh, one in particular called Clatch. Um, so they've got, uh, you know, coffee, coffee shops all around uh, Southern California, and they opened in Northern California. And in fact, they have an outlet in um, at the United Terminal at LAX, uh, which currently is just closed because of the pandemic still they haven't uh, fully opened, but all of their other stores, um, they're in the Inland Empire, Pasadena and such. So anyways, point is that they use it. Um, they homemade, they, they do a homemade uh, uh, coconut almond milk, um, and they'll do some seasonal milks like pistachio milk and um, some different other kinds of milks that they'll use for their seasonal drinks or for their coffee as their plant-based milks. So they do everything in-house. They use the machines. They were an early adopter since uh, t- literally 2017. Um, and yeah, so it's, it's great. That's really cool. Um, in, in New York, actually, there's a, a green tea 
a place uh, or a matcha place called Matcha Full. They use the machine um, in, in, in the stores as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, we've had, um, you know, we're, we, we've got a lot of people online using it. Um, so there, there's a Whole Foods um, in New York as well that because they've got a matcha full uh, location. So they actually have um, the machine there like um, front and center when you when you go into their store. That's neat because it's fun to watch when it especially when it's dispensing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. So what are you going to show us today? Um, so what I thought I would do is, um, so we're going to do a potato leek, uh, creamy potato leek soup um, that actually would also work quite well as a you know, um, as, as part of, you know, if you want to use it as almost like a gravy, if you will, for, for um, uh, Thanksgiving coming up, um, or if it's just for, you know, warm soup you know, during the winter. Um, but because it requires um, almond milk, um, or you can use other plant-based milks such as oat milk or, you know, cashew milk or uh, even tiger nut milk, any, any, any of the plant-based milks, depending on your dietary needs or if you have any restrictions or allergies. Um, and then also because in the soup we do a veggie broth or you use a veggie stock. So I thought I would show how you can make um, a veggie broth using the natural milk machine as well. That's terrific. Yeah, P people should make their own broth. It's so much cheaper. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, because like with the veggie broth you can use just like any of your scraps um, you know, from, from when you're, you know, cutting up your vegetables and everything, and then just, just put it into the machine and, um, make your, you know, make your, make your veggie broth, you pour it out, you can put it into little ice, um, cubes and then freeze them and, um, take them out when you need to use them and, and, and just, yeah, just like, uh, defrost it, add a little bit of water. Such so, a um, idea. yeah. Um, so basically, um, you know, our, again, all of our recipes are, uh, either in the recipe book, um, there, there's a recipe book with 200 different recipes, um, that comes with the machine, um, as well as we have, um, a lot of our recipes, um, uh, like we, we discovered we have about like 300 articles or so, um, between articles and recipes on our, on our website. Um, and so, so yeah, so there's, there's a lot of, um, those and then. So I'm gonna show how we make the almond milk. Um, again, uh, for those of you that are not familiar with the machine or um, still have some questions, probably one of the most common questions we get is what is the difference between the processing bowl and the uh, what we call the butter smoothie bowl, which I'm gonna be using both um, uh, today during the demo, okay? Um, so our, our bowl this is what we call the processing bowl it comes with an inner filter okay so you'll see that there's a um like a, a mesh filter okay um and then we've got this um, you know, the the grind the the grinding blade okay and then you've got your spigot right and so again we've got the inner filter what happens is you throw the you know we'll throw the nuts in or seeds and whatever and then it's going to filter through and so we'll actually show you how, how it does that now the the other difference again just showing is that we have what's called the butter smoothie bowl okay the main difference is we took out the filter all right because people were wanting to just make nut butters, they were wanting to make soups, sauces, uh, and things. And so when you have a filter, what happens is that as you're making it, you know, the soup and all that is starting to go through the filter, or the sauce, or even the nut butter, it starts to go through the filter. And then, you know, then it becomes a little hard to clean, you might have a little bit of wastage. So yeah, so we just, you know, it's, it's basically like any other, um, you know, processing attachment it just doesn't have the filter. Great. So if you're going to do something that isn't making milk, you recommend using the smoothie bowl, correct? Yeah, you, you definitely could. Like if you're using it straight just for like making, let's say a chimichurri sauce or like a salsa or, you know, different, again, salsa, sauces, dips, things that um, um, don't require a, a liquid, okay, like a filtering, filtering of liquid, then, um, you know, your, your butter smoothie bowl is going to be um, probably a better bet um, because just because it's, it's, it's going to be also easier to clean um, to use. Yeah. And there is a question actually right now about how easy it is to clean. Let me get it exactly it, 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 because it, yeah, here it is. D Dina wants to know, is the container easy to clean? Can you put it on the top shelf of the dishwasher? You can, I do that. 
Yes. Uh, actually, what we recommend, with the, it's, the bowls are probably a little too big for the top shelf. Um, we recommend putting it on the bottom shelf. Um, and then, but your parts such as your, um, you know, the wiper, okay, the, even the, the lids um, and, you know, your, your knife, the blade, uh, you can put that on the top shelf, no problem. Um, I do want to show also like, so with the, with the spigot, okay, it just pops, comes right off. And then it, you can actually unscrew it, okay? Um, and the reason why is for, you know, you, you wanna be able to clean it. It's just like any, any other type of, you know, machine that needs some sort of cleaning. It's just everything can screw off and you can, um, and then you just pop it back in. Um, so everything on my, in my dishwasher, both the bowls fit on the top shelf. So I guess I'm lucky about that. Yeah. You know what, it, you know, that, that's, that's true. At the same time, um, I would say that it depends on the size of your dishwasher. Um, you know, some, some are smaller, some are wider, some are deeper. So it just depends on the size of the, the dishwasher. So, you know, you, you, you find what fits the, uh, what works the best. Um, and then, you know, like if you're just making simple smoothies, um, you know, and such like, honestly, some warm water, um, and then just, you know, rinsing it out, uh, using a little bit of soft cloth is more than enough so that you don't have to, you know, you don't necessarily have to put it in the dishwasher. Now we do, uh, a, a small tip that we recommend is like, let's say you're making nut butters or something that's very, you know, again, that, that will get a little oily. Um, it could, you know, there's, there's, so what we do is we suggest adding just about like two inches of water and then adding just a, a little dash of some dishwashing liquid, run it in the machine, okay, for like a minute. So you're basically just, you know, because it's got the wipers, you're just letting it spin a little bit, and then it'll, it'll, you know, it, it just takes off all of that sort of residual oil that's on on, on top of the um, on, on top of the bowl. Oh, that's good to know. I didn't know that. So we have some questions, if you don't mind, like Mandy asks, she bought hers in Australia and only has the inner bowl with the mesh panels. Does that mean I can only make milk or can I use this bowl as a food processor too? Yes, you, you can use it um, definitely still as a, as a processor. We're not saying that you can't use it. It's just that there were, again, um, some, some fans um, and, you know, just customers that said that, you know, we, we, we want something where we're able to just, you know, cause a lot of people just only wanted to make nut butters. Um, and so we're like, all right, we're, we're going to give you a, a, a different, um, uh, you know, scenario or possibility. And we just took the filter out, but you can definitely use it as a processor. You can still make all your butters. You can, you can, you can do all of the things that we, you know, we can use um, the regular bowl for. But you still have to keep the insert that has the mesh in it, right? Because otherwise it won't process. Yes. Yes, because the way the the size of the uh, and so so remember there's this uh, wiper okay and what it does is it's going to be spinning okay because there's a there's a motor on the top arm here all right so as it's spinning um, it's going to tamp down the ingredients so you know meanwhile on the bottom it's uh, spinning this is actually helps spinning and 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 basically you know uh, pushing down the ingredients so that it doesn't you know flow up and then. You know, like usually with like, say a Vitamix, you have to take the tamper and you're tamping it down. But in this case, you don't have to actually tamp down, right? Well, that's um, my so favorite thing about it because Deborah's saying Breville sous chef or Nutrimilk, decisions, decisions. They're different because I mean, I, I've, I've never used the Breville sous chef. I've heard good things about it, but I don't think it makes plant milks. But what I do love about the Nutrimilk, when I use it as a food processor, I never have to stop and start it because you have the wiper blades. Like it just takes so much less time because I don't have to open and close and open and close like you do a regular food processor. Yes, definitely. Sorry, I've got a phone. Yeah. It's okay. Is that beep coming from you or me? I don't mind it, but I just want to make sure that my settings aren't doing that. Uh, I'm not sure about the beep, but there was a phone call like ringing on the home phone. I was like, ah, <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Um, yeah, so 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 it's because the the um, arm fits within the width of the inner bowl as it does with the um, butter smoothie bowl as well. So that's why you need it um, in there. You can't you can't. It, it's not going to fit. It's not going to work without um, the inner bowl. Right, that makes sense. And then so I just have to clean it maybe with like a little toothbrush or something because it's got the little holes if they're making like nut butter or something. Yeah, and it actually with the uh, with our machine, it comes with a brush. Um, so you know you can also use the brush to be able to clean uh, the the filters. Yeah, and, and Dina wants to know uh, where is this available because she's in Canada. We know that Mandy got hers in Australia. So can everybody get one? 
Um, yeah, so we uh, we had the I I I believe our Australian distributor does have the um, butter smoothie bowls, but we can double check on that. Um, if if you wouldn't mind sending us a message, we'll definitely um, uh, point you in the right direction of where you can buy one um, for Australia. And then in Canada, we can ship there, or also we have distributors in Canada that um, you can buy the buy, buy the bowl from. Uh, we have a uh, coffee addicts and also eight ounce. Um, it's actually, if you go onto our website and you look under global suppliers, you'll see um, who you can also purchase from. Great, thanks. And does your offer right now include shipping if you're in the United States? Yes, in the United States, we have a uh, free ground shipping uh, in the continental U uh, US. So that does not include Alaska, um, Hawaii and the uh, US territories. Great, thank you. Okay. Um, so what I'll go ahead and do is, um, so I've got some almonds here. Again, we don't need to soak them. Um, or, you know, if, if, if you are a fan of, you know, soaking and such, you definitely can. You just need to keep them dry. Uh, the reason being is that when you put the, the nuts into the machine, actually, what it's doing is it's grinding it down to its cellular level and then it's uh, releasing the enzymes, okay? Um, and in most cases, your phytic acids, which is the reason why a lot of people, you know, they read articles and say that, oh, they need to soak is because it's actually in the skin. Um, but again, it's that, you know, when you're making the milks, the, the skins are already removed um, through the filtering process. But we had actually sent our um, milks and butters and such up to a food laboratory and did, um, did some testing and it was like a 0.00, .00 four percent um, trace of phytic acid which is basically nil um, or zero percent and so you know you don't actually need to wor worry about um, you know the acids uh, acids and such but again you know with 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 being able to make you know doing homemade uh, milks and butters and such like that you know you can adapt the recipes according to your uh, dietary needs and restrictions and such um, you know one of the things is like so we actually use uh, one cup of you know, you can use one cup of almonds or two cup of almonds. We say one cup, of, uh, one cup um, uh, of almonds to four cups of water. Okay, is which is about one liter. Okay, um, but you know, of course, like with this, you're actually getting a much higher uh, density, right? Uh, nutrient density of almonds. Um, you know, one of the things that uh, Chef Agio is always talking about too is that you know when you're buying. Um, milks and such from like, you know, in, in the cartons or, um, and, or even honestly making it with a, um, like a, a normal blender, um, you know, because you're straining all of the, uh, you're, you're actually, what you're doing is you're basically just pulverizing the nuts, um, or it's just a lot of water, right? So, so it might say, you know, 30 calories or whatever, or 40 calories on the box per, per eight fluid ounce, um, of the, of the almond milk, but that's because it's mostly water and very, very little nut nutrition. So again, you can actually tailor it. So, you know, double, double the water, or add more water if you need to. Okay. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm adding the almonds. And then um, again, so I think one of the things that we do get sometimes is people um, saying that my lid got stuck. All right. Um, that you do have to put this on to the bowl. You see, if you can see this little magnetic or this little magnet area, um, it, it should be parallel to the arm, to this top arm of the of the uh, natural milk. Okay, um, so you just boop, put it on and then twist it in. Okay, so um, the default time for butter. Uh, is 16 minutes, but again, depending on where you're located, uh, we find that in more humid uh, environments, um, you know, sometimes it takes longer just because there's a little bit more moisture in the air. Uh, in drier places or uh, places with higher elevation, um, it takes a little bit less. So, it, it, you know, you'll be able to process this down to a butter within about seven minutes. Um, sometimes it might be a little bit longer, again, just depending on storage conditions, um, environmental conditions um, in, you know, whether it's your home or uh, where you live. Um, again, elevation can affect it as well. Um, so I'm going to, so I, I, if you can, you can actually see that I added the, the almonds, I'm going to press, so I pressed butter, which was uh, default 16 minutes, I can actually adjust the time accordingly, if I want to go up or down, okay, and then, um, and then you press start.
So I'm stopping it right now. Um, I know that because Zoom actually will mute me if I try and talk um, while the, the it's processing. What I want, why I stopped it also is because within about 10 to 15 seconds, you can actually make almond flour as well. So um, what I did was like, as soon as I added the nuts, you, you saw that it was already, you know, the machine was turning, it was tamping, the uh, motorized arms were going, um, but, but it's, it's such a powerful motor and it was designed specifically to process down the nuts. So, um, but it's, it's made basically this um, almond flour, you can use it for other nut flours as well. Um, and then, you know, you and use it for baking, okay? Um, and so what I've done is because it does take several minutes um, to, you know, it's, it, it's pretty actually, you know, it's fun to watch as it's going and making the butter. Um, it becomes this big energy ball. Um, and, you know, we, we actually have um, several videos on our website as well that you can see what it's making. But um, just for sake of time as well, I've already processed um, some of the almonds to make for the nut butter process, uh, just to save a few minutes. And then I'll let it go. Okay, so um, at this point, I'm going to add the water. So again, depending on how creamy uh, you want it, you can let the butter uh, run a little bit longer. Water. Gonna press mix. It could go one to two minutes, and then press start, and then it starts to come out. So you'll see that there's actually this outer bowl, and the uh, the, the milk has actually gone into the outer bowl. It's basically still spinning. It's em Sorry, I realized that you can't hear me. So what it's doing is it's actually emulsifying um, the water and the uh, what, what's basically like a nut butter, okay? Um, the almond butter, it's, it's um, processing, it's mixing, emulsifying together. And then it came through the uh, filter, okay? Again, the mesh filter into an outer bowl. And then this is how I get my, um, my, my milk. How do you recommend we store the milk and how long does it last for in the refrigerator? Um, so we recommend, um, you know, if you actually, if you don't put any other um, like fruits or any other uh, ingredients in it, usually uh, you could put it in the refrigerator for six to seven days um, and, and, it, and it's, it's going to be great. Now it will naturally um, uh, fall, you know, so the water, it will separate the water and the, um, because, you know, obviously it's, it's more dense. Um, so all you do is just sh shake it up a little bit. Great. Mandy says she loves the wiper blade. And Tracy's asking, does this replace my Vitamix? Oh, maybe she didn't hear guys because she's running the machine. I'll ask again. Um, oh, sorry. Okay. I heard that question. Um, so about the, so, so, you know, we, we have a, we do a comparison when it comes to, um, you know, our machine uh, compared to whether it's Vitamix or any other blender. 
Um, but but basically, it, you know, because this is what it's doing is it's, it's it's grinding it down to its cellular level. So it's one speed, all right? It's not a high speed blender, uh, which, um, you know, there are some people that prefer to use high speed blenders. I mean, we're talking 30,000 rotations per minute, right? Um, our machine is 1800 rotations per minute. So it's, you know, it's, it, it, it's, it's, it's doing this, you know, it's like um, a, a, a milling process, right? Um, and, and so then it allows, again, the, 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 the ingredients and the nutrients and the enzymes to actually come out that way rather than just pulverizing it. So again, depending on what it is that you're trying to do. Um, and so, um, you know, with, but, but for, you know, the purpose of being able to make a lot of the, the different things that you can use with a processor or blender, you can use the machine. Um, we've had, um, you know, plenty of people because it has the motorized arms. Okay. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to tamp down. Um, and, you know, so, so that's, that's a great thing. It's got the spigot, um, you know, and then it's got, again, two different motors. It's got a very, very um, strong sturdy motor because it's commercially certified. And so, um, you know, I, I mentioned earlier in the video, uh, or during during our, our presentation here was that um, there's the coffee shop called Clatch that's been using our machine. They were an early adapter since four years ago in 2017. None of their machine, um, uh, the motors have broken down and they're super, super impressed with, you know, uh, like with, with the amount of, um, you know, commercial, like, I mean, just the use that they go through, the, the, the actual uh, motors have not broken down, which is a big thing, like when you're using other blenders and such is that, um, especially if you do end up making nut butters and such, uh, um, and you're using so much of that, that motor, you end up burning it out. And then, you know, then you have to go and buy another one. Wow. So if that, God forbid, happened, they, they can't be repaired in that point, that part. Right. Yeah. So um, let me go ahead and um, continue dispensing. Now in the dispense, you can either just uh, open up the spigot or we do like um, recommending using the, what we call the dispense button on the machine. Basically it's just continuing to allow it to, you know, push out the, the liquid and get, So I'm gonna put that to the side here. Um, so again, we just wanted to make sure everybody understood that while we were doing this almond milk process, what we were doing was first we made uh, essentially what was like an almond butter, okay? At that point, I could have stopped it and then taken out the butter if I wanted to use it as butter. In order to make the milk, I just added water and then uh, let it continue to emulsify and then that's how I got the milk. Um, so now what I'm going to do is, uh, we're going to do our veggie broth. Okay. Um, so here again, I've, I've got, you know, just, uh, it was some celery, carrots, um, leek, uh, onions, and, you know, you can, again, you can use, um, scraps of, um, from your, from your veggies or, um, uh, you know, from the vegetable scraps and such, um, to make your broth. Okay. Um, and so what I've done is I've put it into the machine. Um, now you'll see that, you know, it's basically being used as a processor. I'm going to run it for um, a couple of minutes, let it go down and then add water. And then I get my broth. So again, um, this is looking a little bit more orange because I, it was a little carrot heavy and I chopped up a bunch of vegetables. 
not as much as the cranes. Um, but again, you could see how, you know, it was spinning the, the motorized arms. And then what I'm gonna do now is take off the lid. It's usually a little harder to do it backwards like this. Uh, I'm adding two liters of water. Again, we have this uh, recipe available on our website. Um, and, and I'm sure we can also link to that. Um, Chef AJ and then... You know, the Nutra Milk team is on the live chat and I don't know if you see from Dr. Tirin P. Lupo saying uh, they're having a problem at checkout. So maybe they could address that. It would be wonderful. Okay, uh, yeah, that'd be great. Um, and so, yeah, so I've, now I've got my veggie broth and then I can use it to, to cook with and, and, and everything. So pretty, fa uh, very fast system here. Um, now in this case, uh, you will have some pulp leftover, obviously, because this is scraps of vegetables. You're not grinding it down to its like absolute cellular level. I mean, you know, you don't have oils and such like that so that, you know, it's, it's not going to become a, what we call like a nut or seed butter, right? So this is just working at, as a processor. Um, so I've got my veggie broth, right? And I'm going to take some of that almond milk that I had from... And four. So for the potato leek, um, creamy potato leek soup recipe, um, you know, again, depending on how many servings, but um, according to our recipe, we're using about four medium potatoes. Um, these potatoes were a little bit smaller, so they're more like uh, six smaller ones. Um, and then, uh, three cloves of garlic. Um, this is a giant leek. Um, so, you know, usually we use about two leeks, um, but the smaller ones, um, some bay, uh, one bay leaf, and then a um, couple cups of the veggie broth and a couple cups of the uh, almond milk, um, as well as um, some fresh parsley. So what I've done is um, I actually went ahead and um, cooked it a little bit earlier just to, you know, again, to save time. So what I've done is um, the potatoes, the leeks, um, added a little salt and pepper. Um, and so I'm going to use at this point my butter smoothie bowl. I'm going to take out the bay leaf. I'm always really impressed with those cooking uh, shows because like they've got everything already cooked, but then they'll go through the entire program. Okay. So this is the, what I, again, was calling the butter smoothie bowl, um, just because I'm making soup. I'm gonna add back in my uh, veggie broth, two cups of the veggie broth that we just made. And then uh, two cups of the almond milk. This to the side. Uh, in terms of making the uh, potatoes and such, you you know, in our recipe we do um, say you know you can stir fry it or saute it, um, which you know you can use <coughs> a little bit of oil or not. Um, usually. I know on the program, we recommend not using any um, oils. Um, so, you know, you could definitely boil, um, boil the veggies for um, like the potatoes and the leeks first, or you could put it in the Instapot. Okay, use some high pressure cooking to 
to uh, break it down. Um, or, or again, you know, you actually can just add a little bit of water or veggie stock as you're um, cooking it um, in order to, you know, soften the potatoes. Okay. And then I'm just going to mix it. Okay, after mixing, then I would just um, put it back into a, a sauce, pour it into a saucepan and, and heat it up um, to, so you'll see here's the, make sure we turn it up. All right, here's our soup. And then I'm just gonna pour it into a saucepan and then heat it up. And then I have my potato leek soup. That sounds delicious. <laughs> nice. Well, I've been posting the link for the, well, this is the Black Friday special. So there's not gonna be another one. This is it right now. That's correct. Um, so so this is, um, you know, our, our, our biggest sale of the year is um, we're uh, giving $100 off uh, the, the machine or on the um, butter smoothie bundle. Um, and again, it's free ground shipping here in the continental U uh, United States. Um, and then we, um, uh, yeah, so we've been, we, we, I think we started the sale a little early this year only because uh, rather than waiting until Black, Fr Black Friday, because it seemed like everybody was just like, you know, they said about 65% of shoppers were going to be shopping prior to Black Friday, simply because everybody was afraid of, you know, the, the um, just stock running out or product running out um, and, you know, shipping being a nightmare, they're calling it ship again. <laughs> Um, so, so yeah, so that's why we, we started a little earlier. Um, again, though, you cannot stack discount codes and coupons. Um, so it's, um, we already have an automatic discount um, in, in the checkout. Right. I mean, could pe do most people buy it with the smoothie bowl and then regret if they didn't? By yes. So we very often um, when people just buy the machine and they don't get the butter smoothie bowl because um, actually the bundle is already saving you $69. The, the, the bowl is normally uh, $120 or $119. Um, and so you're saving $69 by buying the bundle. Um, but and then and then and so they're like, oh, you know, I could have gotten the um, both of them. Um, with the at, at the bundle with the discount and then plus the hundred dollar discount, so it makes it you know three ninety nine as opposed to four ninety nine. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah. Um, now that is not going to be. I mean, I know that we've got some uh, international um, clientele uh, in our international viewers here, so so you know the that that's obviously going to be a little bit different depending on uh, the country that you live in. Wow, well, fantastic. What do you use yours for mostly, Carolyn? Um, gosh, I do, um, uh, I do smoothies every morning um, for my like uh, sort of pre-breakfast. Um, and then, so, you know, I, I have all my fruits and, you know, I definitely use, use it to make my oat milks and um, almond milks and, you know, the different types of milks. Um, we drink a lot of walnut milk um, and make walnut butters as well. Um, because uh, it's great for, you know, your omegas and for brain and, you know, brain power and such. Um, so, you know, a lot of the nuts have a lot of, you know, they, all of these ingredients have their own different kinds of, um, you know, nutrients and nutrition and such. And so we, act, we actually have an in-house nutritionist, her name is Florencia, that writes um, a lot of the articles and she talks about all the benefits of, you know, each of the type of the, um, uh, ingredients that go into our recipes as well, um, for, or for every nut, or, you know, each of the nuts and such. So, so yeah, so I, I definitely use it for that. Um, as we're approaching Thanksgiving and, you know, I'm in charge of a lot of the sides. Um, so I definitely have to make a lot of our plant-based milks. I'm going to be making 
um, like a mac, you know, a mac and cheese. Um, I'm going to make a cream corn, uh, cream spinach, um, you know, uh, scalloped um, potatoes and, um, and everything. So all of these, in, in, you know, require some sort of, um, again, plant-based milks or, or butters and such. And so, yeah, that's what I'll be making a lot of. So it can be used in place of a blender then because it makes a smoothie and it also can make that like the ice creams, right? Yes, you can make nice creams. Um, we have, we've had people uh, make, you know, different kinds of nice creams with, with um, whether it's just like uh, plant-based milks or, you know, with some frozen bananas. Um, and yeah, I mean, you definitely can have, uh, we, we definitely can do smoothies as well. Um, it does just, you know, again, I think like if you were to put it in a high speed, high speed blender, it's probably just, you know, um, less than a minute, but I usually run it for about a minute to uh, two minutes because I, I, you know, depending on the consistency, if I want it like a little bit watery or, or um, really thick. Um, and then, you know, we, we have, uh, we've had people make cheese, um, you know, plant-based cheeses, uh, yogurts, um, uh, again, not nice creams, all kinds of treats, um, you know, like even, um, like nut butter brownies. Um, there's, there's all, you know, all sorts of, um, you know, amazing recipes. And I would say that pretty much, I mean, you know, every recipe that you feature on your, um, on your, um, on your show here is that, you know, you can use the natural milk for, um, parts of those ingredients or to use, um, for, for most of the ingredients, uh, most of the recipes as well. Great. So there's a question from Johanna. How big is the bowl? The bowl itself is about, I would say, um, 10 inches tall. Um, and then diameter wise, it's maybe the butter smoothie bowl is around um, maybe eight inches. And then the, um, and then, no, sorry, this is about six. The butter smoothie bowl is about six. And then the, um, and then the milk bowl is about eight. That's great. Yeah. Nice. And height wise, it's about, uh, about 17, a total from base to uh, the top arm, it's about 17 uh, inches. So, you know, um, I'm, I'm pulling it back a little just so it doesn't look massive. <laughs> it's also depth of field, but um, it does fit under a lot of the cabinets um, and such. So, so yeah, so it's, 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 it's actually not, it's, people think it's big, but, you know, remember that it's got the, the base is actually um, when compared to like, let's say a Vitamix um, as well, the base is actually run about the same diameter. Um, it's just that because we have this uh, arm. Okay. Um, and then the other thing too, is that because, you know, um, most other blenders the you know, it's kind of got a skinny, tall, um, you know, carif, Um And whereas ours is like, you know, bigger, wider. <laughs> Sandra says, this is my present this year from my husband. And I'm so excited. I can't wait for it to arrive. If you do nut butters, it pays for itself. My husband, he ha he's so thin. He eats like two peanut butter sandwiches every day. And I was getting so tired of the glass. Well, for forget plastic. Cause after I did that show on plastic, I, I feel really bad buying plastic. And, you know, I mean, how many jars can you have in your life? And so it, I mean, I, it, two minutes to make, you know, a pound of a peanut butter. It's amazing. Yeah. I mean, you know, peanut butter. So, um, uh, so today, actually, November 23rd is my, um, my chocolate Labrador's one year birthday. Okay. So she, she turned one and that dog is so spoiled because we make, that was another thing that we make a lot of. Um, I make peanut butters. I make almond butters. Um, you know, we do all kinds of treats and things like that for her. Um, and we have, a, we also have a little mini Aussie too. Um, so, so they were our two COVID puppies. Um, and yeah, they, they get so spoiled with all the like treats that we make for, for the pets. That's so cool. Dina wants to know, can you make flax milk in? And I've always wondered, can you make chia milk? Okay. So chia milk um, is because like, if, if you've ever, you know, when you put chia seeds, obviously in, in, in liquid, it's very, um, you know, it gets like very coagulated. It's kind of slimy, you know? Um, so we have not been successful make, making chia milk. Um, we did actually recently, um, here that there was, um, we, we had a question about um, flax butter. And um, I 
hadn't been aware that we can actually make flax butter. I mean, it can use, you know, you can all use all kinds of seeds, sesame seeds, all kinds of seeds. Um, the flax, because the flax normally gets a little coagulated or I mean, you know, a little uh, slimy as well. But if you roast the seeds, the flax seeds and make the butter. Um, Hi, I'm Dr. Siz on Living oh, Free. About that. There's three main <laughs> What's categories. What's happening? Sorry about that. That's okay. I was like, oh. Um, so flax flax butter is actually one that you can um, make with with the with the machine as well as the flax milk. That's interesting. I've never seen flax butter. Yeah, flax milk, flax butter. Um, you know, we, we what happens is like we start getting these. Um, you know, I mean, we we've actually experimented with as many seeds and nuts and grains and you know things that we possibly can to, to put in here that we've tried. And once in a while, um, there, there will be, um, you know, a request like, hey, can we make this? Or, uh, you know, again, because you can do, you, you can also do coconut, you can do, um, you know, you can even make all different kinds of co uh, coconut milks, um, tiger nut milk, which is actually tiger nuts or tubers. Yeah, um, what is, so would that mean it's lower in fat? That would be very, because that's what I don't do. I do mostly oat milk because I don't like the fat. So tiger right. nuts, what, what, where do you get them? And are they particularly low in fat? Um, yeah, so we, the, it's, it's mainly because of allergies that uh, we, you know, so we actually have a, um, we, we work with a, a Kathleena who is the allergy chef. And so, you know, I mean, she herself has, um, I honestly can't even remember. It was something like 90 different kinds of like allergies. It was, you know, and everybody in her family has some sort, sort of allergy. So what they had done was um, use the tiger nut. It is a little bit lower in fat. It is also what they use in like horchatas as well. Um, but, but yeah, depending on what you, and, and she's able to make all the, the, all the things that, um, you know, you would normally be able to make with, um, any of the other plant-based milks, um, as well. And, yeah. um, you can buy tiger nuts, um, obviously online and then in some of the specialty stores as well. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's not regularly available, I think at just like any rec regular market. Um, but, but yeah, you could definitely, um, get them online or at specialty stores. What about, have you ever used chestnuts and made like chestnut butter? I, I wouldn't imagine you can make chestnut milk or maybe you can. You probably could. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, again, anything you can make the butter out of, um, I, I would say that with chestnuts, you know, um, I haven't done it myself, but I, I can imagine that you can roast them. Um, and then, you know, and then put, put them in, um, you probably wouldn't want them. Uh, it's not like you can open them raw anyway. Um, and then, uh, and then, and then put them in and then, um, and then, yeah, make, make milk, make some milk with it, add some, you know, um, like winter type spices and, and ingredients and such, um, to give that like, you know, chestnut flavor and feel, I mean, the, the feeling of having like warm chestnut milk. <laughs> yeah. Can you make tahini? Yes, you could definitely make tahini. Um, um, so we definitely have some recipes on tahini. Um, and, um, you know, you could do hummuses, um, you know, all different kinds of hummuses with the garbanzo beans. Um, you can mix the, the, the garbanzo sesame seeds all together. Um, yeah, so there's, you know, you can, you can take all different kinds of ingredients and also mix them together to make um, the different butters as well. Right. And uh, there's a question, have, it says anyone ever made peanut milk? Yes, you could definitely make peanut milk. Is that good though? Um, I mean, you know, again, it's, it, 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 it depends on if you like peanuts, um, just like, you know, uh, almond milk, um, you know, any of the nut milks, you know, um, sometimes we'll have people say, oh, but it really tastes like almonds or it really tastes like cashews oil. Yeah, because you've just processed a bunch of these nuts into the milk, right? Um, it's not a but it's not it's not like just water. Um, so it's going to be very peanutty, um, or it's going to be very almondy, or it'll be very, um, you know, whatever nut it is that you've you've gotten. <laughs> so Noreen says, the natural milk is the natural milk discount available in Ireland ordering through the UK incurs extra charges and delays. Um, the the, our, our distributor or in the, the Nutra Milk UK um, is, uh, they, they are shipping to um, Ireland as well um, because of the plug type and obviously the 220. The discount, I'm sorry, is not um, 
uh, available in the UK uh, right now. And then we also have a European distributor called Traminal. So you can find that in our global distribu uh, distribution list. Fantastic. Well, this is great. Well, thank you for the discount. I hope people will try it and buy it or buy it and try it that in that order, because those of us that have it seem pretty happy with it, especially if we make a lot of plant milks and nut butters and it does so much more. So I love your uh, website. It's got all those wonderful recipes and please follow them on Instagram because they're always putting more recipes on. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. What really got me, I, you know, I think I told this story before you've been on a few times and is uh, I, I'm host, I host something called the GI Health Summit, which is going to be happening in a week or so again. And I learned from one of the GI doctors that the the, the substances in boxed milks and many of them, not all of them have these emulsifiers and stabilizers really do a number on our, our gut microbiome. And I noticed that the one I love the best, I don't want to mention the name because I'm sure it's a good company, but I was getting so sick and I, and I, it finally, it turned out it was everything that that milk was in, you know, cause it was not like I drink out plant milk. I use it in soups. I use it in recipes and it was because of those things. So I wanted to be able to make them without that stuff. And, you know, I didn't like the straining. I mean, I know how to do it. I have a nut milk bag, but that's sort of a pain in the butt. Yeah. Yeah. And plus you're losing a lot of the new, you know, the nutrition and the nutrients that you're, you know, you get. Um, so, you know, by using the, the nut milk bag, plus it's, I mean, again, you know, very labor intensive, you know, and, and I mean, we've had people say that they, they feel like they're going to have carpal tunnel syndrome from from having yeah, to from doing the straining exactly uh marlene says is the bowl difficult to clean no um so again you can put it in the uh the uh in the uh dishwasher um on the um you know in some depending on the size of your dishwasher either the top rack or the bottom rack um and then we also gave a tip of um just you know adding a little bit of um uh, you know went right went after you finish processing just use a little bit of um dishwash liquid plus um, maybe two inches of water, run it for about a minute. And then this way, you know, all the ingredients have already slide off. Great. Well, thank you so much. And actually you're going to be back on just for like maybe seven or eight minutes on, on Sunday for our small business Sunday. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So I'm very excited to be back on, on, on Sunday um, after the Thanksgiving, um, after Thanksgiving, after, you know, we're going to all be a lot, you know, very full. Um, so yeah, so if there's any other questions, please feel free to reach out to us, um, let us know. And um, yeah, and, you know, again, the sales going on and, and we're, we're shipping like crazy. So, so, um, you know, don't, don't delay to buy because, you know, shipping get in as well as, uh, you know, uh, supply chain demand here. <laughs> um, I just, before I let you go, I just saw an interesting question from Terry. Have you done nutritional analysis on any of the milks? I'm curious how many nutrients are present when you remove the pulp. Um, yeah, so we did some, um, it, again, um, because what we do is we're saying a cup of nuts to a liter of water, right? So your nutrient density is much higher. It's almost as if, if you were to take a bag of nuts um, and you looked at the nutrition uh, you know, level, it's, it's almost the same. So your, your most of your, you know, your vitamins and your, um, you know, your minerals and your um, calorie, even the calorie density. Great. Thank you. Well, happy birthday to your pup. What's your pup's name? Uh, it's Juju Bear. Yeah, she was on once before, I remember. But she's yeah, yeah, well, she was really tiny. <laughs> well, she's Sagittarius. We love that sign. That's what my husband is. Well, thanks again for making such a wonderful machine. Thanks to all you guys for watching another episode of Chef AJ Live. Carolyn will be back on Sunday. But tomorrow on the show, we have Sid Notter, who's going to be demonstrating some wonderful recipes that can be appetizers for your Thanksgiving meal or any time. Take care, Carolyn. Bye-bye. Thanks, Thank Natrim. Thank you so much.